Hey guys, it's Jaybird here, and I know it's been a while since I've done some tutorials, but I was busy with school, exams, work, you know, lots of life stuff, but I'm back, so we're going to be jumping right back into a whole bunch of tutorials and uh, more videos and whatnot, so I look forward to doing that for you guys. So this is going to be a quick one, uh, very recommend, or highly recommended through my YouTube comments and people just asking me uh, to do this one, but basically, this is a continuation off of the door tutorial that we did a long time ago, but basically this is going to be specifically for rotating doors, ones that didn't rotate properly, so you'll notice that some models rotate right in the middle. So what we're going to be going over today is just one thing. We're going to fix that issue. We're going to make it so uh, if you have a door that rotates right in the center, their origin isn't working, or say you wanted to make a door out of a brush and you want it to rotate, this tutorial will help you do that. Alright guys, let's jump in. Alright guys, so we're in Radiant, and I'm just going to walk through exactly what the process is going to be to fix this issue. So, the neat thing is, we can actually do two things here. We can do this with models, and we can also do this with brushes. So if you look here, I've already did a little test with this. This is a, a brush here, uh, if I just hide everything here. This here, this door here is a brush. It's a script brush model that I made. So, in my little test, I actually got it rotating on its axis. So you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. I'm basically matching the same size of the door with an invisible brush, the cock brush here, and then making the axis in between the two. So the thing is with Treyarch's models, some of them you'll notice have a proper rotation going off the hinge. Uh, the thing is, not all models are like this, so if you want to fix the models, you're going to have to uh, do the same idea. Uh, so, this there's basically two ways to fix it. You can rather rip the model out of the game, or you can do this. Um, but basically, this model, why it worked before for our previous tutorial, was this one was previously set up to rotate off this hinge, because that's the way Treyarch made the model. But some models aren't set up like that, and they'll rotate right off the center point like it does in Radiant. You'll notice that the rotation points are different than the origin point in Radiant. So even though it rotates off here, some models still rotate off of their axis because that's where, or the hinge, because that's where Treyarch designed it to be uh, rotated off in Maya when they did the model. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to do this with a brush, but you can do it with a model, it depends on what you're going for. Um, but basically, I'm going to really quickly draw out a door. So we'll just go about 52 by 90, actually it's like 54 by 92, but whatever. Roughly get a door size going. And I'll re really quickly get a door texture. Both sides here, we'll make it fit. So all the basic stuff's here, I'm not really going over because we've gone over this stuff in previous tutorials, so... You guys should know how to do some of this stuff. So we got a door. So now... If I were to make this like the previous tutorial and I made a rotating door, it would rotate like this in-game, which is not what we want. So you're going to want to create a brush the same size of the door. So what I'm going to do is get this cock texture. Okay, so that's my brush there, same size of the door. And you want to put it on the side that you want it to rotate on. So I'm going to put it on this side, so we've got it right down the axis here. So if I select the two and I rotate them, you'll notice the door will rotate properly, although you'll have this big brush here. But if I go into game view, you can't see it. So the other issue you're probably going to have, though, is that this is actually going to be a collidable uh, entity. So uh, we don't want that. We don't want some invisible barrier that's rotating in your game. So we're going to want to keep that brush selected right click and go make non colliding. The other thing is uh, with rotating doors sometimes say you wanted this one to be shootable like say you want bullets to interact with the door but you didn't want it to physically uh, interact with the player because we will have a clip that blocks the door so we don't have to worry about this door having player collision so we can make it a weapon clip um, if that's what you want to go with. So then this way you can walk through this one and you can't shoot it you can walk through this one, but you can shoot it. So then, uh, we'll have to clip create the actual blocking of the player. So, why don't we do that now? We'll create our clip, same size of what, as our door. 
We'll just imagine that there's a wall with a door frame here for now, because I'm not going to go into detail with having to go, go through and do all this. This is just a simple fix tutorial showing you guys how to get around this issue. Uh, so yeah, we got our clip here, we got our door. So I'm going to really quickly hide the clip, and I'll show you uh, how to do this rotation fix. So the neat thing is, you could make an entire door out of brushes. You can make as much as you want, you could have as many brushes as you want, many models as you want. This will work so long as they're all in the same group. So I'll show you what I mean by group in a second here. But basically, uh, what you're going to want to do is make sure everything is in a scriptable entity sort of uh, thing right now. So if I was using models, I'd want to right click and go uh, script model. And that'll convert my door here into a script model. Uh, you have to do this to each individual model uh, to make it work. Whereas brushes, you can select all of them at once and go script brush model. It allows you to convert multiple at once, but models you have to do individually. So you can also have a mix of brushes and models if that's what you guys want to go for as well. It depends on what you're trying to do. So you'll notice right now we got two script brush models, nothing really done in here yet. Don't play with the, the, the settings just yet. So what we're going to do is have both of these selected, and then I'm going to right click one more time. So they're both script brush models, but now I'm going to go entity, add selected brushes. So now this has created a group for these two brushes and for some of you who've been wondering and you like group your model with the brush and you're like oh well the door's uh, origin still uh, in the middle of the door. Well it's not going to be visible and radiant unfortunately they don't have a way of displaying that but just trust me on this it does work so when you go into game this is created uh, treated as one entity. So, and I'll, I'll show you here in a second how that actually counts. Let's say, for instance, I had this selected only now, because this is now considered one thing, even though I can interact with them individually. So I'm gonna just do stuff to the, the cock brush here, and you'll notice it'll do it to the, the door as well. So we'll give it a target name. So we'll just call this test fixed door. And you'll notice if I select the door, it's also called test fixed door now. So it's one entity. So whatever I do KVP wise to this door or to this brush or whatever, it'll do to the other brush as well. Everything in that group will have the same KVPs. So we also want to check dynamic paths because this will make it so zombies can walk through it and it doesn't block the path when the script tells it to reconnect the paths when the, the door moves. So then we'll also give this a script string of rotate. So we know what's a rotating door. We also want to give it, uh, what is it, uh, script angles. And I'm going to give it about 90 degree rotation. So 0, 90, 0. Unfortunately, the angles kind of break uh, a little bit when you're doing this. So you'll notice I did it on the Y axis, but for some reason that'll rotate on the Z axis. Uh, I just noticed that after doing my testing. So I don't know why it does that, but you just got to play with the angles until it rotates correctly. Um, so there we go. So we got. Uh, this model, and, or this brush model, sorry, uh, and this brush model both having the KVP. So they've got the target name, script angles, and script string. So that's all set up. And they're both dynamic path. So I'm going to bring back our clip. Make sure I got it selected. See, that's the door. So make sure I got the right one selected. I just hid the door there. So I'm going to go and we need to convert this one into a script brush model. We want dynamic path so that when the clip is deleted, the path will be connected. So anytime you're dealing with doors, make sure you have dynamic paths checked for your zombies so they can make it through the door once it's open. Uh, we'll call this, uh, it was test fixed door, I believe I called it. Let's just double check here. Yeah, test fixed door, just to make sure I don't have any issues with this. So there we go, dynamic paths, same door KVP. We don't want the clip grouped with it because we don't want that rotating. We want it to be its own separate thing. So that's why I didn't group this one. But we're going to also give it a script noteworthy of clip so it knows that this is a clip and it will delete it afterwards. So there we go, we got the door so that it will rota uh, rotate properly and we got the clip. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is put a trigger. So we'll just go ahead and make a trigger in front of this, trigger use. And then we'll give this a target name of zombie. zombie underscore door and then we're also going to give it a zombie cost and I'm going to give it about 500 that way I can pay for it right off the bat and we also want to target 
and we want it to be our door. So I copy and pasted my door name here. So test fix door. So it's now targeting the door entity. Uh, if you have a script flag, this would be the time that you put it in, but I don't have a zone here, so I don't have a script flag to give to it. So if you're following the other door tutorial, that's where you would do it, the zoning and door tutorials. Uh, so there we go, that should be good. So now when we compile and go, in, go into game, it should rotate properly. There is one more thing I just want to mention really quickly. Uh, I did mention before that you can have models and doors interchangeable. You can have both of them together. But let's say for instance, let's say I had another brush that was offset from the door and it was like somewhere here, but I wanted it to rotate with the door. So let's say I had like some brush that was like right here. Uh, to make this rotate properly, let's say for instance I selected, it's like I just want to make sure I get the clip gun. So if I selected all three of these now, you'll notice the rotation's now slightly offset. It's not rotating right in the middle of these two right here. It's now rotating somewhere like right here. So if you want to fix that, you have to mirror exactly on the axis. So you can see how there's two units here. You would have to make another uh, clock brush here, two units from the edge, and do the exact same thing. Make this non-colliding, make it a script brush, have everything selected, so that way when it rotates, it's completely symmetrical so that it makes the rotation point right in the center. So that's just the last little key tidbit that I wanted to tell you guys before we go into game. Alright, so I'm going to do a really quick compile and I'll show you exactly how this works. Alright guys, so we're in the test map, already compiled, you can see we've got all the doors here, but we got this one, the door that we were working with, so this is our little door, so you'll notice we go up to it, 500 points, rotate it, and voila, it rotated on the axis that we wanted it to rotate on. And you'll also notice that since it's non-colliding, I can walk right through it, or at least this was weapon clip so I can shoot it, but not walk through it. So there we go guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!